today we want to discuss something about the proteins proteins are the polymer of the amino acids and the protein are present in our body abundantly all our all the structures in our body like bone and blood cell membrane all the structure has this uh, macromolecule is protein and interesting thing is that the protein is the polymer of amino acids there are only 20 amino acids in the nature and this 20 amino acids sets one after another one after another to form a long chain this long chain is known as the polypeptide polymer of amino acid is known as the polypeptide or peptide and the uh, uh, small amino acid sequence if you uh, imagine here is one amino acid it is attached with the next amino acid uh, 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 it is attached with the next amino acid. There are three, four, five, uh, up to ten amino acids. It is known as the peptide. If there is multiple peptide, that means up to hundred amino acids or ten peptide chain. This is known as the polypeptide. And more than hundred amino acid sequence in a chain. It is known as the protein. So protein is the polymer of the amino acid and it is the long chain of 20 amino acid sequence in different protein have different amino acids and the, and the hundred or more uh, more uh, that, that means thousand or uh, more amino acids are arranged in a sequence and this sequence is uh, sometimes folded within it uh, its structure that means the protein has a primary structure that means it uh, all the length of the protein is uh, composed of the amino acid chain that is the primary structure that means it has the amino acid one amino acid attached with another amino acid and this amino acid folds with one another to form the secondary structure if we have a if we have a, uh, a chain and then uh, we, we fold the chain to form the helical structure this is the alpha helix if we have the chain and if, if we uh, fold it like um, like the web that means split it split it uh, that is the pleated uh, sheet so amino, uh, amino acid sequence in the protein can arrange in the alpha helical helical structure or the pleated structure these are the amino acid arrangement in the in the secondary structure primarily they are arranged one after another one after another then it folds uh, with throughout its length to form the secondary structure and then uh, they may form another fold another mold secondary uh, tertiary quaternary there are different forms of a structure in the protein as the length of the amino acid chain is different in different proteins and another thing uh, is that the protein may be simple protein that means uh, throughout the length of the chain it has the only amino acids but sometimes the protein may uh, conjugate with other things like like uh, glucose then it is known as the glycoprotein sometimes it is uh, attached with the nucleic acid that is nucleoprotein and sometimes it is attached with uh, other non proteinous non amino acid substances and they form the conjugated protein and the uh, uh, structure of the protein uh, has the amino acid sequence throughout the length and it has uh, 20 amino acids in its uh, length now we will see what are the 20 amino acids here are the 20 amino acids that remain in our body like glycine, alanine, valine, leucine, isoleucine, serine, threonine or tyrosine and the cysteine, methionine, aspartic acid, asparagine, glutamic, glutamine, lysine, arginine, histidine, phenylalanine, tyrosine, tryptophan and the proline these are the 20 amino acids that present in our body if we analyze on amino acid here is the cysteine here we can see here is uh, the carboxylic acid and the amino acid 
and it it has a side chain that is colored in red this uh, side chain defines the chemical characters of these amino acids and here you can see the side chain is uh, like that here is another side chain here is another side chain and uh, all these are the uh, all, all, all these are the uh, linear side chain and here is you can see there is another side chain that is the cyclic side chain this amino acid here is the phenylalanine it has the cyclic side chain or benzene and uh, this uh, side chains determines the nature of this amino acid here is the simple amino acid it has the side chain is only hydrogen ion this is the glycine uh, this uh, amino acid has the uh, ch3 only ch3 methyl group in this uh, side chain this is known as the alanine these amino acid uh, are classified as the aliphatic side chain here is the aliphatic side chain all are the aliphatic side chain this amino acid has the hydroxyl group in in the side chain this is the serine threonine tyrosine these are the uh, classifications of the amino acid in the chemical structures and some uh, uh, some amino acids are the acidic in their nature this is the acidic amino acid that means aspartic acid asparagine glutamic acid these are the acetic uh, amino acid and some amino acid are the basic amino acid like lysine lysine arginine and histidine these are the basic amino acids these are the classifications of amino acids sometimes the amino acid can be classified as the essential and the non essential the essential amino acids are the phenylalanine valine tryptophan threonine leucine isoleucine methionine histidine arginine leucine and lysine these are the essential amino acids and the non essential amino acids are the alanine asparagine aspartate cysteine glutamate glutamine glycine proline and the tyrosine these are the non essential amino acids and uh, sometimes we classify these amino acids on other different properties like how they can they can uh, produce the energy like um, the glucogenic amino acid some amino acids are the ketogenic amino acids and some amino acid has both uh, glucogenic and ketogenic properties these are the different classifications of amino acids